What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple and efficient automatic Minecraft bedrock flower farm. This farm will allow you to get any type of flower that you want. Flowers can be used to make dyes and for building. It works on 1.16 and on all other versions of Minecraft bedrock, whether you play on a phone, tablet, Xbox, PS4, Nintendo Switch, or PC. By the way, this farm is more efficient than my previous flower farm. As you guys can see here, this will give you a ton of any flower that you want. For this farm, all you'll need is two chests, one hopper, one button, one lever, one restaurant comparator, 10 pistons, 3 dispensers, 25 grass blocks. By the way, you guys can get grass blocks by mining them with a shovel or pickaxe that is enchanted with silk touch. 32 redstone, 1 stair, 1 sign, 48 glass blocks, 2 water buckets, and finally 33 saw blocks. You guys can use any type of saw block that you want. The first step is to take some saw blocks, so you guys can use any type of saw block that you want. Now place down 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. After creating that row of 9 blocks, come over here, then build 5 blocks forward, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. After placing those 5 blocks, turn over this way, now place 2 pistons over here, block at this spot, and 2 pistons over here. Make sure all those pistons are facing this way. The next step is to come over here, now place 5 blocks this way, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then place 2 pistons over here, block over here, and 2 pistons over here. Make sure all of those pistons are facing this way. The next step is to come to this middle block, then place 4 blocks like this, now place another block over here. After creating that shape, place a lever over here, now place a redstone comparator on this block. Make sure the two prongs of that redstone comparator are facing towards the lever. After you have placed down the redstone comparator, click it once. That should cause that light to turn on. The next step is to place 3 redstone over here. That should create a redstone clock. At this point, you guys can test it out. To do that, flip this lever. As you guys can see there, if you made this redstone clock correctly, it should flash on and off. Once you are done testing the redstone clock, put this lever down to shut it off. The next step is to place 4 redstone over here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now place 5 redstone over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. After you have placed redstone on that side, turn over to this side. Now place 5 redstone over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then place 5 redstone over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The next step is to come over here. Now place down 6 grass blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then place 6 grass blocks over here as well. Now place 7 solid blocks over here. Now come over to this piston, then place down 6 grass blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Finally place 6 grass blocks over here. Those grass blocks will be where flowers grow in this farm. The next step is to come back to the front of the farm. Now align yourself with this spot, then come over here, break this block. Then place a grass block over here. That spot over there is where we will plant the flower that we want to grow in this farm. By the way, the reason why the flower is planted in a spot that is one block lower than the other grass blocks is because that will cause more flowers to grow in this farm. The next step is to place seven glass blocks over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now turn over this direction. Then place six glass blocks over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now turn over this direction. Now place down six glass blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Finally, connect these two sides. The next step is to extend these glass walls up by one more block. By creating these glass block walls, we will be able to ensure that no flowers are shot out of this farm. At this point, your farm should be looking like this. The next step is to come over to this side. Now place a block at this spot, glass block on top, and glass block over here. Then break this block. By placing those glass blocks, we will be able to transfer a redstone signal from here over to there. The next step is to come inside the farm. Now break this block and place a dispenser over here. Make sure the dispenser faces this way. The next step is to crouch down and place a block on top of the dispenser. Then place a block over here and a block over here. Now place 5 redstone along this line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. As you guys can see there, that redstone line should connect. That redstone line will power our dispenser. The next step is to come to the back of the farm. Now break these two middle blocks. Then place a block at this spot. Now crouch down and place two chests. Once you have made that double chest, break this block. Now come inside the farm. Then crouch down and place a hopper. Make sure this hopper funnels towards the double chest. You guys can tell the hopper is falling towards the double chest because, as you guys can see here, the nozzle of the hopper should be facing the chest. The next step is to place a sign at this spot. By placing that sign, we will be able to prevent water from spilling over the hopper. After creating that collection system, place a stair block over here. This stair block will allow you to easily access the inside of your farm. Once you have placed that stair, go over back to the front of the farm. 
Now break the center last block, or place it with a solid block. Then place a button in front of the block. Now break this block, and this block. The next step is to come inside the farm. Now break this glass block, and replace it with a dispenser. Make sure this dispenser faces this way. After placing that dispenser, open it and place a water bucket inside. The next step is to come over here. Now break this glass block and replace it with a dispenser. Make sure this dispenser faces this way. Now open the dispenser and place a water bucket inside. The next step is to crouch down and place five redstone over here. One, two, three, four, five. Whenever that button is pushed, it will cause both of the dispensers to dispense water. That water will push items that are dropped in this farm over the hopper so they can be collected and funneled into the clock's chest. The next step is to come inside the farm. Now break this block, then open this dispenser and place some bone meal inside. You guys can add any amount of bone meal you want, however, the more bone meal you add, the longer you'll be able to use this farm for before having to add more bone meal. The final step is to plant the flower you want to grow in this farm over here. If you guys want to change the flower you want to grow later, you can always do that. After placing that flower, place a block on top. If you guys want to grow a 2 block tall flower instead of a 1 block tall flower, just don't place this block. I am now going to do a quick flower round so you guys can check and make sure you've made this farm correctly. Over here you guys should have your redstone clock. Over there you guys should have your water dispensers. This side of your farm should have these pistons. The back should have this collection system. Finally, this side should have these pistons. How this farm works is, whenever you flick that lever, it will cause our redstone clock to be activated. That redstone clock will cause our dispenser to dispense bone meal every single second. Whenever the flower is bone mealed, flowers will grow on top of these grass blocks. At the same time, the redstone clock will cause our pistons to shift the grass blocks back and forth. Each time the grass blocks shift back and forth, the flowers that are on them will be harvested. Once you want to collect all our drops, we can turn off our redstone clock, then hit this button. That will cause water to push all the drops over to the collection's hopper. After the drops have been pushed over, we can hit this button to cycle up all the water. Then, we can use the farm again. I am now going to show you all how to use this farm. To use it, flick this lever. As you guys can see there, that will cause flowers to constantly be grown and harvested. Once you guys want to collect the drops, Turn this redstone clock off. Now hit this button. As you guys can see there, that should cause most of the drops to get funneled over to that collection's hopper. Once most of the drops have been pushed over, hit this button again. That should suck up the water. Make sure you guys suck up the water before too long, otherwise some of your grass blocks might turn into dirt blocks. If any of your grass blocks turn into dirt blocks like mine have over here, don't worry, because the grass blocks next to them should eventually convert them back into grass blocks. If you guys notice that some of your items don't get funneled over to the hopper, that's okay because you can collect them manually. As you guys can see here, your flowers should funnel into this collection's chest. If you guys want to ensure that none of your flowers will despawn before getting funneled into the hopper and into the collection's chest, you guys can go pick them up over here. Also, collect these flowers in the back. If you guys ever need to refill the bone meal or want to change the flower that you want to grow in this farm, break this block, now replace the flower with the flower that you want to grow, then open the dispenser and add some more bone meal. Once you have done that, replace this block. As you guys can see here, the farm will now grow the new flower. I am now going to show you all how you guys can use this farm to grow two block tall flowers. To do that, break this block, and replace this flower with the two block tall flower. Now, whenever this lever over here is flicked, it will cause two block tall flowers to grow. Whenever a two block tall flower is bone mealed, it will just drop the flower. Whenever you guys are ready to collect your flowers, shut the restaurant clock off, and I come in here and pick them up. If you guys want to get a ton of bone meal to use for this farm, I recommend you make my simple 1.16 automatic bone meal farm. A link to my tutorial for that farm will be in the description. I hope you all enjoyed learning how to make this simple and efficient Minecraft bedrock flower farm. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions for what I should do in future videos. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other Minecraft videos. I upload every other day. Thanks for watching!